let's actually flick it over welcome aboard customers customers passengers mega sim here how are you doing i hope you are well we'll eventually get there come on there we go right now i'm doing this recording straight after the previous video uh because i forgot how to work the underground okay totally forgot and didn't do this bit which is like the most important part so uh what we're going to do is oh yeah hey oh, matt there we go not done that for a while we are on pc today just because of quickness um but i wanted to uh go on the isle of wight on the pc because i've not done it before and you know that's what happens that's how the cookie crumbles look at that that looks nice let's uh, take a nice screenshot of that yeah anyway hopefully you're doing all well let's go i'm leaving early it's gonna be weird seeing the 484s on here right eh? Let's get started lake platform number one and we'll be calling it lake sandown braiding small brook junction ride st john's rides esplanade and ride pierhead Gert Balls of Fire. Lake is the one that kind of appears out of nowhere on PlayStation. So but let's see if it appears out of nowhere on PC. That's what I want to see. And okay, let's get that speed down. Oh, I did the same on uh, PC. I thought that was just uh, console. That I've not done the camp. Oh my goodness, I've just thought. I'm not going to do them on today's video, but we will be doing it. Ice creams. Now remember... We haven't done ice creams on here. There's the map. Ice creams are at the end. Oh! I get to redo the ice creams all over again. Now, you know me. I love a bit of ice cream. And when we had Isla White, oh my goodness, the amount of ice cream we had was just amazing. It was amazing. All right, let's get this mouse back into order. There we go. Got it tangled up with the uh, uh, headphones and the USB for the controller. So yeah, when I move it a little bit, it does that. <laughs> come on, come back. There we go. Right, let's shut those doors. Let's uh, release that and go. I'm naughty. I go early. Sand down platform number one in 0.8 miles. I don't think I'll do it. I can do it at sand down because I've got to wait for the red light to go green. But yeah. Yeah, we got the uh, yellow signal here.
Start slowing down into Sandown. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be shortly arriving at Sandown. What we like to hear? Sandown. Oh, no, no, it's uh, 300 yards to that, isn't it? Yeah. True, 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 true. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been on Isle of Wight, so it's nice to have it on PC. As I've mentioned in my previous video, we have got all but one DLC now. The, that CSX train, I just couldn't, I couldn't. Didn't want to go for it. I know it was on offer, but I just couldn't go for it. Stuck with... Uh, Rapid Transit, Isle of Wight, because I'd already got um, the Singing Train. I bought that uh, last month um, on the Springtime Madness or whatever it was. So I'd already got it, but I couldn't use it. So when I got the Rapid Transit on Dovetail Games site, I, it activated. And then I got a Train Simulator DLC that I got on the uh, Summer, whatever it's called. I don't know what they're called now. nice to see that though hey yeah we gotta wait for this to go green um which will be when the doors close that this will then go green so yeah this was the first uh route that rivet games did for uh Tracing World 2. So we know we had the DBDR 204. Uh, this was the Isle of Wight. There were a few issues um, that were fixed. Well, they're not fully fixed. I don't think we've got the uh, livery designer yet. Uh, we then got a Rosalini. Rosalinia. A Rosa Barn. Um, and then next we've got, yeah, the Cornwall one, the Cornish one. That's going to be good. Oh, that will Good. Right. Let's shut those doors. Release the brakes. And go for shunting. There we go. Okay. Rating. Platform number one. So yeah. Um, waiting for that. Also, because we've got this class 483, they're able to utilise that and they're going to be creating Rivet Games. They're going to be creating the 1938 Bakerloo line stock. The original colors full cars you know the, all the cars on there not just two so that's a nice little uh extra added bonus that we're going to get um from rivet which is nice let's go yeah it was that that i'd forgotten about When you haven't been on a train for a while, you just it takes a while to remember what to do. Will Rivet give us uh, class 484s on here? Not sure. I know that's a question a lot of you may have, but no idea. There we go. Whistle. Whistle while you work. Turn that up a bit. You can hear it a little bit more. That's better. You alright, Ted? Okay. Coming into braiding now. Also got a 20 limit coming up as well as we go around the corner but it just outside the station yeah. it's 
fast we can open that door. Here's the whistle. Can't wait to try those ice creams. I was two yards away from that. Why did I only get 497? Because of the time, maybe. Just the time. I did turn the lights on, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, we're at Braiding, so the next station is Smallbrook Junction. Have a look. Yeah, Smallbrook Junction. And getting to a right pier head at 1708. Not too bad. Oh. No fan. Good that the Cathcart got a fan, but I feel like the fan was going too fast. You know, it kind of goes like this quicker than the blades go round. Well, coming up to 51, we're just going too quick for the game. I'm going for forward two, which is what I heard is what they use on, you know, real life. So, no idea. Right. Smallbrook Junction, 2.4 miles. Okay, uh, oh, I think we just missed that one, yeah, oh no, it wasn't that, it was a, it was a speed board, but that's the whistle board. That looks good, doesn't it? Oh. Yeah. Okay, Smallbrook Junction, 1.8 miles. We can go up to uh, 45 in a minute.
Okay, this is where we can go up to 45 now. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Smallbrook Junction. Uh, the only way to get to the train is by train. The station. Hey, shush, please. I'm recording. <laughs> Okay, right, so we've got to go down to 30. I think that's just after the station, so. And this isn't a via, this is an at. So we should be fine. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be shortly arriving at Smallbrook Junction. All right. Right, let's put an EB hold on as we start slowing down to Smallbrook Junction. Let's release that. Slow down too quickly. We've still got 500 yards. Stop. Oh, way over. Oops, Ted, you distracted me. See, no dogs are allowed in the cab. There we go. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know. Come on. Should we, uh, and we got there too fast as well. Right. No, you're not taking my glass cleaning cloth. Okay, so we need to wait here till. Move that a little bit. 1657. Oh, stupid mouse. There we go. Right, 1657 and 30 seconds. Yeah. We better close that. Don't want people walking out there, do we? Oh, no siree. Doesn't look good, doesn't it? Hey. Uh, Ed. All good. Okay. Off the mouse, Ted. Off the mouse. There we go. Right, right. Oh, come on. Right St. John's, that's right. Right St. John's. Look at that, we got to get there in four minutes. Why am I going so fast then? I don't know. I don't know, you tell me.
I know, Ted, I know. You just literally want to sit on my lap, don't you? Go on then. I'll try and drive a train and and at the same time hold a conversation plus let you kiss me all over. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so coming into Rad St. John's, where the depot is. <sighs> settle. Yes, I know you're balancing, but I want you to settle. Coming in, coming in to ride St. John's. Ed, really, you coming back up already? Okay, we're going down to seven. Okay, four nine two. It must be. It must be the timing as well. Jumping from the floor up onto my lap. I know, Ted. You, for such a small dog, you jumped so high. So high. <laughs> right. So we have got two stations left. We've got Esplanade and Ride Beer Head. Is that right? Oh, that was it. I saw a mod. I've not installed it, but I've seen a mod. And I haven't installed it yet, but I've seen a mod where it gives you the hovercraft. It puts the hovercraft in the game and makes crossings every half an hour. So I'm not doing that yet because I don't want to become the mod guy. And I know, you know, we want to see what it looks like. You know the difference the proper differences between the, the different consoles and pc instead of going well this is what you can do on pc a lot more than console you know i want to show you this is what it looks like on console this is what it looks like on pc but those mods we have been doing these past few videos have been uh pretty epic really haven't they i have really enjoyed doing them you know just like the uh southeastern high speed that was pretty immense wasn't it you know with the different colors and the different audio and yeah just fencing yeah. right let's go so a few days ago um they did have a 484 scraping through the tunnel oh, i say scraping they were putting it through this tunnel it's like well haven't you already tried that? Why are you doing it so slowly? You've tested it already. Why are you doing it slowly? And then it reminded me of that uh, video from last year, I think it was, of that uh, freight train in America with all the cars. I think it was America. With all the cars and it was stuck under the bridge and it was just scraping all the cars and screwing them all up. That's what it felt like. It was like, oh no, it's going to scrape the, back, the top of the uh, 484. I know. I know. We're almost done, and then I can give you proper cuddle, okay? Come on then. 
Come on. Up. Come on. Let's get you rolled over like that. Okay. Oh, going a bit too fast. No, you don't want to roll over. You want to be up. Okay. Uh. All right. If I sit as far forward as I possibly can on the... Uh, let's move the mic back over there. As far forward, then you won't be able to uh, sit around. Okay. Right, so yeah, this is the tunnel. Can't see much. It's uh, pretty dark in here. There it is. Okay, coming out of the tunnel now. Okay, ride Esplanade. Our penultimate stop. Oh, I got 500 points for that. Seagulls! It's good they've got seagulls in this now, anyway. Yeah, so this is where the hovercraft um, lands. The rail cam is up there. Um, and yeah. Oh, yeah. What does it have? What do we do when we go under the water? Under the sea. Under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's where to take you from. Me. Up on the shore they work all day. Under the sun they slave away. Nice. Right. Coming up to our final call now. Ride Pier Head. Ladies and gentlemen. This is our final call. Does look good, doesn't it? Yeah, certainly does. Right, let's uh, get to Ride Pier Head, platform number one where this train terminates and where our video will be ending hopefully you've enjoyed this video today everyone don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already or give it a thumbs up if you did like it there's the old tram track uh supports the old tram supports not track if you want to uh, follow us on social media instagram facebook twitter discord all those links are in the description below for you to have a good look at and have a chat but yeah this has been a fun video. I've enjoyed it. Hopefully you have too. Okay, down to 15. Coming into Ride Pier Head. Okay. Five hundred. That's what we like to see. Be 
really like that noise. It's been a while since I've been to the seaside. You know, where my nan and granddad lived, you know, in Kent, you know, you'd always hear it. And that was kind of, you know, great to see family down in Kent. And, you know, that's kind of what, what you used to hear. But being in the Midlands, you know, we're near the sea. You don't get to see any of that. Right, let's lock those doors. There we go. Isle of One, Isle of White, Island Experience. Go, go. Always believe in your soul. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. And uh, yeah, we've had a good time on this. Hopefully, you have too. We will see you on the next video. This. Oh, am I going to get in there? This is Mega Sim. Out of here. See you later, guys. Bye.